Good morning, YouTubers. Good morning, friends and family. RV Deb's here, and it is Monday. Just made myself. Actually, it's my breakfast, but it's lunchtime. Well, not really, but I've got smoked chicken salad that I got at this really cool market in this little town. It's a, called Spring Market. Put a little chives or green onions and some jalapenos. Lily's chilling. Look at my view. Now that's a nice view. And I got a view out of here. And a view from there. It's all the park across the street. I really can't ask for a nicer place. And we're getting... I'm going to have a full electric and water hookup put in. And um, cable. Or, well, I don't know if it's cable, but internet. And I have a nice private little place to sit. I'm going to have that. Oh, we're going to reinforce that table so I can put plants and things on it. I mean, it's home. And you know what? I haven't really had a home since my husband died. Kind of home kind of died that day or that year. So I personally feel pretty good about hanging out here for a while. And I will probably do some more traveling in, you know, maybe during winter. Um, we'll see. But I'm not going to move the trailer. I think I'm going to try to find a camper van. Maybe. But everything's maybe. I'm pretty happy here. And it really feels good not to have to think about where I'm going to be and where I'm going to live and, you know, just all that. It's very comfortable. And my friends and I, we've always got along so good. Rosie Roo. Rosie Roo. Talk to you guys in a little while. Good morning, YouTubers. RV Deb's here with you. And, um, wow. I've been here a week and one day. And it's just flown by. <laughs> but I'm very comfortable. This new place where I'm at is perfect. I don't think it could be any more perfect. Um, next Tuesday, the, uh, I don't, I think it's called Windstar. Uh, the cable company will be coming in and putting in a high speed internet. For now, my Wi Fi extender is working on my laptop, picking up their slow internet connection, but it's better than none. I can still, you know, get online. Um, yeah, up uploading takes hours, like at least a couple hours. But that's not a problem. And so that's okay. And then also, I think it's going to cost me between 100 and 150 to get a sewer line, almost like an RV park would have. Electric box and a sewer line put right here to the, wherever they can do it, to my the back of my trailer here. And that won't be perfect. So, all in all, it's just all falling into place, and that's great. Uh, what else is new? Let's see. Uh, today's kind of a quiet day. We're not doing anything major, which is good. I'm fine with that. Just took a nice long walk. I mean, not real long, but went down um, a block that way, and then another block that way, and then to the park. And we walked all the way through the park and then back home. And that'll probably be like a once a day thing for sure with the dogs because they enjoyed it. They're doing great. They love it here. Well, they love wherever I am. And they love Kathy a lot and Mark too. Um, yeah, Mark's cat, Charlie, is this beautiful cat that uh, is so quiet and sweet. Doesn't The dogs just don't phase him. And uh, Rosie, Rosie will bark at him, <laughs> but it doesn't work, doesn't phase him, and he's real gentle. I love him. He's like, uh, I think he's like 12 years old. Oh, uh, wow. And Kathy and her mom today um, are spending some time. They, they went, I don't remember which town they were going to, but anyway, her and her mom went to town and also are going to a grocery store, and I'm here starting to just really take things that were all tucked away and find a space for them and just make it home. I haven't finished yet, but I've got to go to the post office and uh, I think that's like a few blocks from here. 
everything's close. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? So that's what's going on in my little world. It's a di definitely a smaller world, but a lot of beauty to share. And uh, when we get the chickens, the little baby chickens, can't wait. And we're going to plant. I know I showed you some of the garden, but all that area will be garden. This is what we're going to do. So that spring, it's in full bloom all over the place. And they're going to do that. So I'll be here to help plant and watch them grow. And I never really thought I was a country girl, but maybe I am. <laughs> That's what's neat about life, though. You never know what you're going to do. I mean, I'm not going to stay here forever. And if I did, that would be fine, too. But I'm just going to enjoy it, you know, one day at a time, a month at a time. And um, you never know what's around the corner. I do know that I want to go to Santa Fe, which is just one state over. And I'd like to see Santa Fe. I'd like to see Sedona in and Quartzsite. Those are the three places that I would like to venture off and uh, possibly just me. Um, maybe, maybe the dogs too. But I am going to do it a little differently. And uh, that's the way I, I mean, that's what I'm thinking now. Again, there's no plans that are etched in stone anywhere because uh, I have realized that plans change and you got to go with the flow. They want me to, you know, use this as my home base and I can travel all I want. So I might wind up getting a camper van, like I said a while ago. I don't know yet. Or a truck, a camper, something that I could spend the night in and go visit friends and have my own bed. But, um, again, plans are just, you know, they're just something we're thinking about. When it actually comes to pass, that's when I'll... Wait, I'm going to, I think, remove the dining room set and put in an easy, nice, easy chair but that, that I can have a computer desk with and maybe some storage on the side there. But I uh, really, I sit here a lot. I, I do have that couch and it's not bad. I accidentally shut the camera off. But I have the couch there and that's okay, but it's, it's still, I don't know. So far I've found that I sit here mostly. But I have a week to wait. Um, before my internet connection. Yeah, so I'm pretty comfortable here and I haven't even really begun to really undo. I mean, I still haven't really gotten everything out yet, but that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna go to the post office, get really comfortable. I'll show you the inside when I get it really nice. And um, Kath and I, are we work really well together. I mean, we made the most beautiful jewelry. I will, I will get pictures, she has pictures. I'll show you some of the gorgeous jewelry we used to make. And when I got married to Mark, I made everybody hippie beads, or love beads, I like to call them, and gave everybody love beads. And the neat thing is that Chris, when she was here, she had two two of them. Um, her, she, she got her ex-husband's and hers, and she wears them all the time, and she says, people are always asking, you know, where'd you get them? Can I get some? And I've had some subscribers ask me, about love beads. So Kath and I are going to do something for our, our Christmas, um, something together. And that's going to be, we're going to sit and make beautiful love beads. We've got so many gorgeous gemstones. I mean, I don't use crap, no plastic. Uh, each one is a little design of its own. And we're going to put them on Etsy. I think I'm going to charge $20 for them. And we'll split the money, her and I. And uh, yeah, so I really love working with her anyway. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm in heaven when it comes to Kat. We just always have, we've been, okay, I'll tell you a little bit about what we've done. Besides we worked, okay, um, we met in North, the North Miami, Hollywood, Florida area and uh, wound up moving, I wound up moving to the Clearwater area for me, with me, starting our business. We called ourselves Fancies for Milady. We worked nine years at the Renaissance Festival. Not just one, but the one in, uh, there were like three in Florida and one in Nashville, near, near Nashville, and one in, two in Ohio, New York, up in the mountains near Tuxedo, New York, beautiful place. So we have a lot of memories of that kind of travel. And with Renaissance Festivals, uh, you stay between six and eight weeks at each place. Come on. Yeah. Um, so we, we had that travel, 
and then I started deciding that Renaissance fairs were, they were fun, but we were over it. Because it's a lot of work to decorate and speak and use, you have to have the clothing, it has to look right, you've got to do, you know, it's different. So we got into just arts and craft shows and we've been doing those for the last, probably, I guess that started maybe 1998. We started making clay hair fancies. I've got a, I've got a suitcase of our old hair fancies. They're made of clay, they wind in the hair, there's like beads and gemstones and little charms at the bottom. We did that for many years and made, that was how we really made extra money, really made money. And during that time we would take vacations together. We went to Jamaica, we went to Seattle and uh, stayed with uh, Chris and her family at the time back in, you know, I think it was 2000. So you guys like can see that I am in a place that I need to be uh, it did take me a while to get here, but I'll tell you something. You know, there's no mistake. This town, I mean, you're way out in the middle of nowhere, but maybe that's the best place to be. Lots of friendly people and very helpful to each other. So, and things are cheaper. I, I, I've never been to anything like this. I used to say, Kathy moved like a year ago. She's only been here a little over a year. I said, oh, Kathy, why didn't you move to any other state? Why would you move to Texas? Oh, I don't, I'm just not into the cowboys in Texas, blah, blah, blah. And she got, she was so happy here. And I thought, oh, well, I'll visit and I'll, I'll keep going. Texas is not for me. Which, you know, I didn't know what Texas was like. I guess in life you never know unless you go and try. And I like it here. I don't know if I'll stay all the time, you know. I mean, I'm here for now and I'm gonna, it's, it's a wonderful. I don't think I'm going to move this travel trailer. It makes a great little, you know, second little guest house. If I did give it up, who knows what tomorrow brings. Kathy and Mark can have it. Who knows? Or I might sell it and go find a little house here. But then again, I might be in a month singing a different song. So don't hold me to anything when it comes like to that. Because I don't know. Who knows? But I'm feeling good. I'm happy and content. I love having this, this place right here. And all I see is fantastic just views. Oh, it's so great. Let me show you. Lily's got her little perch where she's watching out the window. And that's, see that red roof over there? That's the city pool. Well, not, it isn't just the city pool, but it's a big park. Yeah. In their home. And the, you know, my, my kitchen just faces the privacy fence of green. And let me get up. And that's out to the road in the fire pit. It's very peaceful here. I am so grateful and thankful that this has happened. I got a lot to, you know, I haven't even unpacked any of the stuff that I want out, but I haven't been eating in here. I did make my own breakfast and coffee this morning. And uh, I don't know. <laughs> I bought a really big roast one of the nights and we cooked it at Kathy's house. And uh, tomorrow's taco night. Hey, Rosie. Rosie, say hi to everybody. Yeah, say hi. Rosie, you know what? Sit down right there. Sit. I want to talk to you. Hey. You know what? If you sneeze, I'll give you a cookie. Sneeze. 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 Do it. Give me a sneeze. Sneeze. Chew. Sneeze for a cookie? No? Say hi, everybody. I'm not going to do it. And she can't make me. Yep, hairdo time coming. They walked today, so they're nice and cool and laid back. Well, that's what's happening in a little town called Knox City, Texas. Over and out. Get along, little doggies. <laughs>
Nah. I'll talk to you guys later. Love you all. Have a beautiful day. Happy Monday.